What's up guys, here to review the brand new Rotogrip RST-X3 here on the same house shot that we always use. I uh, got an RST-X1 that we're gonna compare to today. Uh, so let's see how they compare. All right, it's time to review the brand new Roto Grip RST X3. And let me tell you, the colors remind me of one of my all time favorite balls, the Hypercell. All right, we're going to start right like normal. We're going to try to keep this one on the right side of the head pin, playing this far right. No speed was able to get it to hold line. I was a huge fan of the RCX1. In fact, I take two everywhere I go. Um, no matter what we're bowling on, at some point or another, I will throw an RCX1. So I'm really excited about this one. Okay, five left. Still got to keep the speed pretty firm. I even got my hand around that one. You can still see I got to use speed to keep it on line because of how much friction and dry there is outside of 10. But once we start to move left, we can drop that ball speed and it's really gonna shine. Five left. Oh, that's just dirty. Yeah, I just love the colors of this bowl. Takes me back to 2013 with the Hypercell. Okay, five more left. We almost nine pin the end. The difference between uh, the RST X3 and the X1, they both have the Microtrax hybrid, but the, uh, the X3 is two part pearl, one part solid, where the X1 was just a 50 50 split between solid and pearl. So, with the X3 on paper, it should be cleaner and slightly more angular down lane because of the extra part pearl. Five more left. Now I didn't, even, I didn't even get my hand around that one. And it still almost got there. Don't mind the mechanic. My man JR down there. All right, I'm gonna try that one more time. Try to get my hand around that one. So I think we get that 10 out if I don't get forward. Yeah, I didn't quite get it as far right, but you can see when I get my hand around it, it'll respond off of it. What I like about this, it is very responsive to the friction, but it still reads that oil pretty well, which normally you have to decide which one you want. Traction in the oil or, you know, the bounce off the friction. This one's kind of giving me a little bit of both. 
All right, we're gonna get pretty close to the bar turn, get my hand around it, and try to send it right. Not the best shot on my part, but you can still see that big core in there. And I did get that one to probably three down lane, pretty close to. And it, it didn't really burn up, it just kind of ran out of lane. So we'll try to throw it a little slower. Yeah, there we go. Just had to get my hand around a little bit more. All right, now we're gonna throw, again, one of my favorites, the RSTX-1. Stand further right like we do with everything. I'll try that again. Didn't get it off my hand the best. And again, it's, it's hard for me to stand for the right with these big core balls because of how much hook there is. That's got a chance. Oh, I tripped that nine pin out. All right, five more left. See how much smoother it is. And I think that has to do with not having that extra additive of pearl in there. And these are both laid out the same, of course. Seeing this one just a little, a little more round and a little earlier than the X3. Five left. Yeah, the X3 split the 8-9 there, where the X1 kind of messenger 10 pin that missed it. Just telling me it's getting in a little too far behind it. Five more left. I think this is really where you're gonna see the difference between the two. Yeah, just smoother. A little earlier, a little smoother. which is a good thing because if you have an RSTX-1 and sometimes it gets a little lazy and you want something a little more responsive but very similar shape, the X3 is definitely the ball. All right, five more left. Got my hand around that one like I did the X3. Faced up nicely. 
We'll get against the bar turn with it. And we'll wrap this video up. We'll have more comparisons to the X3 coming soon. All right. That one's gonna wrap it up. Appreciate all the support. As always, please like, subscribe, and uh, man, I can't say enough good things about the, the new RSTX3 and all the new balls that have been coming out from, from Storm, Road Grip, and 900 Global. Uh, absolute, just amazing bowling balls. Head out to your local Storm VIP pro, uh, pro shop on uh, August 19th to get your new RSTX3. Appreciate it, guys.